Hey guys, Cassie Anderson here. I just finished my 19th month of TSW. It is now July, or July, August 2nd, 2018. Um, so a little bit about this last month. Um, it went really well. Uh, I felt normal in a lot of ways. I went ahead and um, got myself a full-time job outside of the home. And um, so I'm working and <sighs> Well, let me back up a second. When I was interviewing for the job, TSW did not come up at all. And quite honestly, like I felt like it was going so well and there wasn't really anywhere to kind of insert my situation. And I feel like I'm kind of getting by normally and the job doesn't require me to do a lot of the wet chores that I that my hands get uncomfortable doing. And so I really didn't feel like the conversation was going there. And so, um, let me just kind of close this a little quick. A little. Okay. Um, and so anyways, I got hired without the discussion of TSW or my skin. Um, there's only one one conversation in depth I've had with somebody since I started working there, you know, this month that I, I've been there a whole month, that um, that actually knows anything about what I've, I've been through just because her son has severe eczema. Um, so, you know, there are some people who'd be like, why haven't you said anything or whatever, you know, why didn't, why, why wouldn't you mention it? And I keep thinking like, okay, first of all, um, it's not really an ongoing problem with the kind of work that I'm doing. And the second thing is it's really nice, uh, not to have this TSW thing stamped on my forehead, you know, for everybody to do, uh, to talk about and to question and everything. So, um, I kind of like it. I kind of like that I am free to be me again and feeling normal. And, you know, so there are times, you know, that my skin doesn't look 100%, but it still passes as normal. You know, a lot of people don't ask any questions or look at me funny or anything. So today I feel like I'm a little bit more red than normal, or maybe it's just the lighting in here. Um, but anyways, yeah, I mean, I'm feeling good. Let me give you an update on my skin. So yeah, sorry I'm a couple of days late reporting, um, or at least a day late at this point, but by the time I finish my blog, I'll be a couple of days late for the blog part. Um, so I've been working full time, but then also we went on vacation a week long, well, eight days. So we traveled eight hours away. Um, it was, the whole vacation turned out nice. Um, and I survived and came back to full-time work and everything's going great. So, um, a few things about that trip is we had during that eight hour drive, it was like 90 some degree, um, day. It was super hot. And even though we were, we had the air conditioning blasting in the van, um, the sun beaming in through the windows was really irritating my skin. So I did have ice packs on me the whole the whole trip, basically. And it wasn't just um, my hands and wrists that were feeling, you know, sore and itchy and, and stuff, but um, my chest was also um, getting agitated. So I put ice, <laughs> just, just package yourself however you need to in circumstances like that. Um, when we arrived, we arrived at this cabin that is on a peninsula. You have to take a boat to get there. So we loaded up the boat. We got there, and a lot of people kind of gather and commune in the cabin, but we did sleep in a tent um, the whole week. And the first few days were really rough because I was outside in the wilderness with my family. So I was just trying to have as much fun as I could. And even though some things were kind of... Um, sore and painful, uh, you know, you just get used to it. It's not really something that was any different than being sore and painful doing stuff at home. You just do what you got to do, being a parent and whatever else. And But it was a little too much for my skin and plus the heat and no air conditioning or anything in the cabin. Um, I did have a lot of ice on for the first few days and I did kind of have, I did reach my limit at times. And so, you know, I was just trying to be mindful and careful and I still ate um, a fairly strict diet, you know, the whole time I was gone just so that there was one less thing that my body was trying to adjust to. Um, so I did eat separately than everybody. Um, and that just means a lot of salads and fresh fruit and things. Um, Gluten-free, all that. Um, 
what else? Oh, and then at nighttime, you guys know from my, my past videos that typically I like to sleep with ice packs near me in the middle of the night so that if I kind of sense my skin is a little hot or itchy, I can grab an ice pack and, and you know, kill it right away. But um, halfway through the week, I started bouncing back and feeling better. And uh, by like Wednesday, I... I had forgotten the ice going to bed one night, and I'm like, oh, it's too, like, it's pitch black. I don't want to walk from the tent to the cabin and get the ice out of the freezer and whatever. And so I just let it go, and I did really well. And then the next night, I went out to the to, to lay down to go to bed, and I'm like, oh, I forgot the ice again. And I'm thinking, hey, I did okay last night. Maybe I'll do okay today. So I did. So I've actually experimented a few times now um, going to bed without ice. Um... And I seemed to do okay, but quite honestly, it was kind of like trying to wean myself off of the baths. Um, it's kind of the same process with the ice. Like, there are days, well, there's nights that I can get along fine without it, but there's definitely nights where I do need it still. So, I'm not completely comfortable going without ice um, during the nighttime. Basically, because my husband adds like a hundred more degrees under the cover so <laughs> I have to have ice near me because my skin is still heat sensitive a lot uh, to a certain degree. Um, what else was I going to say about that? Oh, but during the day I haven't been needing ice at all for the most part. I mean during the vacation where I was outside in the heat, yes, um, or you know without air conditioning, yes, but when I'm just at home in the air, when I'm at work in the air conditioning, when I'm in the car. Like, I really have a pretty controlled environment all the time outside of vacation. So the rest of the month um, was really smooth. And there's been like two times where I felt like I needed ice while I was at work. And of course, I'm trying to be like this undercover TSW, you know, <laughs> warrior. And so I would just grab like um, a can of, of pop from the break room and I would just kind of like hold it up against my, I don't drink pop, but I would just kind of hold it up, just hold the pop can. Not that that's suspicious, you know, <laughs> but that was my impromptu ice pack if my, if my hands do need it. That way I don't have to feel like I have to bring ice all the time. And there have been times I've brought my ice packs, but Anyways, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. I'm just mumbling way too much. Um, rambling way too much. Anyhow, um, I think that's all I really need to report to you guys. I really only put, like, cream and stuff on in the mornings and at night. And then there's maybe once, maybe twice um, on a bad day if I do that any time in the middle of the day. Um, but mostly, I do really well. I feel like my skin is getting to act a little bit more normal these days and I don't need to give it as much attention. I feel like it's slowly, you know, coming out of it. So let me just give you a close up. It looks like my face is a little red, so I'm going to go ahead and do a close up. It's interesting how there are times when this looks completely healed and then, you know, slowly something that comes back in its place. Um, but it's never like worse when it comes back. It's always like just something really subtle and mild. Same thing with my chest area. Um, you know, it was really um, normal for the for a while and then just kind of flared with some heat on vacation. Um, and now it's back to normal, you know, fairly normal again. So anyways, every now and then I will still get like this little tiny like oozy crust thing going on. Um, but it's really rare. Um, sometimes on my skin or my nose and then sometimes like I found a couple on my torso here this week Which was really strange because I'm like wow I have not had anything on the rest of my body other than my hands face and chest Like I really haven't found anything else for months for like almost like a year almost um, So it was it just caught me off guard. I'm like wow There's just like one little tiny pore of a something so I feel like my body is still detoxing here and there, obviously, but, um, but I'm not 100% yet, so something super minor, no, no big deal. Here are, here's the progress on my hands. They like to split open, um, 
where all those grooves are. So if I'm if I work my hands a little too much, if I don't keep them moisturized, um, then those will split open. And um, on a bad day, it just means I have to use cream a couple more times than normal. But other than that, I don't really. It's not too fussy. That's all I have for now. Let me hear how you're doing. I'd love to hear in the comment section. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them below. And I will do best to do my best to get back to you on it. So hope you have a great day and hope you are doing well if you're another TSW warrior. Um, and if you're just watching for educational purposes, thank you. Keep spreading the word. All right, we'll talk to you later. Talk to you next month. Bye.